Brazing Welding Interview Questions and Answers Question 1. What is the difference between soldering, brazing and welding? Answer. Brazing, the AWS defines brazing as a group of joining processes that produce coalescence of materials by heating them to the brazing temperature and by using a filler metal, solder, having a liquidus above 840 degrees Fahrenheit, 450 degrees Celsius, and below the solidus of the base metals. For a more in-depth explanation, see how brazing works. Soldering. Soldering has the same definition as brazing except for the fact that the filler metal paste used has a liquidus below 840 degrees Fahrenheit, 450 degrees Celsius, and below the solidus of the base metals. Welding. In welding, fusion takes place with melting of both the base metal and usually a filler metal. See our brazing versus welding article for more in-depth answers. Question 2. What does a braze joint provide? Answer. Brazing provides strong joints, lower temp slash lower cost, maintains integrity of base metals, easily joins dissimilar metals, good joint appearance, skill easily acquired slash automated. Question 3. How does brazing work? Answer. Brazing creates a metallurgical bond between the filler and metal and the surfaces being joined. Heat is applied to the base metals and the filler and metal is brought into contact with the heated parts. When the filler and metal melts, it is drawn through the joint by capillary action. Question 4. What types of filler metal forms are there? Answer. Filler metals come in wire, strip powder, or paste form. Availability in these forms depends on the alloy that is chosen. Performs can be made from strip and wire. Question 5. What is oxidization? Answer. When metals are exposed to oxygen, oxides form from Oxygen atoms that attach to the metal. The oxides that form prevent the molten alloy from metallurgically joining to the metal. Question 6. What is flux? Answer. Flux is a chemical compound that is applied and shields the joint surface from air and prevents oxide formation. Although flux will dissolve and absorb oxides, the metals that are being joined should be properly cleaned prior to brazing. Question 7. What are the available flux forms? Answer. Flux is available from Lucas Milhopin. Paste, slurry, liquid, and powder form depending on the type of flux. Paste, slurry, and liquid. Fluxes are all water-based while dispensable fluxes are petroleum-based. Flux can also be delivered to the joint through the torch that is being used. Question 8. How can flux be cleaned off of joint after brazing? Answer. The easiest way to clean flux off the brazed joint is to quench and soak the assembly in hot water. HCl up to 25% can be added to the water for stubborn flux residue. Special cleaners may also be purchased if needed. Question 9. What is the shelf life of flux? Answer. If stored in the original unopened. Container, Lucas Milhop Flux is under warranty for 12 months from the date of manufacture. This does not mean that after 12 months the flux is no longer useful. Question 10. How can flux be reconstituted or thinned? Answer. Water can be used to thin. Water-based flux, usually distilled or deionized water is used for this purpose. Question 11. What is brazing paste? Answer. Brazing paste is a material consisting of metal, alloy in a powder form mixed with a binder. When it is required, brazing flux is added to the brazing paste to provide protection from oxidization. Question 12. In what applications is using paste feasible? Answer. Paste can be used for torch, induction, and furnace applications. In these applications flux is usually added to paste. Formulation. When using paste in a vacuum or atmosphere a furnace flux does not need to be added to the paste. Question 13. What is the shelf life of brazing paste? Answer. Brazing paste that is in its original unopened container is warranted for 90 days. Similarly to the flux this warranty does not mean that after the 90 days the paste will not function. Functionality can only be determined by 
melt in the paste to see if flows or not. If the alloy flows then it is still functional. Conversely if the alloy balls up then it is not functional.